Sounds like you need a little caffeine, my friend. What say you? I go over to the diner across the street and pick us up a nice cup of coffee. Forget it, I'm fine. What diner across the street? This place, Kirk's. Great place. The owner's a real character, and the coffee's fantastic. Come on, let me get you a cup. Though maybe you ought to pay, seeing as I did pick us up the last round. Eggs sunny side up with a side of bacon, and who's got the scrambled with hash browns? Here we go. What the hell is going on here? Welcome to Kirk's. I'll be right with you. What is this? It's a diner, Luke. A diner called Kirk's? It's the name my mother gave me. Top you off there, Jake? Why are you doing this? I just saw a need and I filled it. it seemed to me Stars Hollow was in want of a real neighborhood joint. A watering hole where the townsfolk could mingle. A place where a fella could come and get a piece of pie, a cup of arbuckles, and a sousson of small town charm. Yeah, well, Stars Hollow has already got that place. It's right across the street. It's called Luke's. Luke's, ring any bell? Sounds a little like Kirk's, doesn't it? Luke, if you were suggesting that you were the very first person to ever think of naming a restaurant after yourself, I think that Denny, Arby, and Tony Roma might have something to say about that, not to mention Mr. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese? Chuck E. Cheese is not a person. Luke, do you really think a giant mouse opened a national restaurant franchise by himself? Look at this. French toast, pancakes, buttermilk pancakes. You stole my menu. You did not invent pancakes, Luke. Anyway, I heard Luke's went out of business. Luke's did not go out of business. Luke's is closed for repairs. And you want to know why it's closed? Because some nincompoop yesterday drove his car through my diner. Would you care to step outside for a moment, Luke? Outside? Outside what? I think it would behoove you not to use slanderous language like nincompoop in my place of business, Luke. Because let me tell you, it is only out of the kindness of my heart that I am not suing the pants off of you. <laughs> You're gonna sue me after you crash a car into my diner and bust a giant hole in my wall? For all you know, I could have brain damage. Oh, I'm pretty sure you do. You know what, Kirk? Go ahead, sue me. Crash into my diner, make me lose a week's business, make me pay for the repairs, and then sue me for damages, for brain damages. That sounds fair. Luke, calm down. I get where you're coming from. I think we can work something out. What is this? A job application. The way business is picking up, I'm totally going to need a fry guy. What, it sounded like your finances were kind of tight. If you came expecting a handout, you came to the wrong guy. I'm of the teach a man to fish school, Luke. You do not throw trash on the floor of a restaurant, Luke. Not cool. 